Hey guys, it's Ivy, and today I am going to do a review on No Big Deal, just my favorite thing ever um, in terms of makeup, and that is the the Balm Nuditude palette, and I've actually seen a couple other gurus talk about it. I feel like it's very underrated, not many people have tried it out, and I just think it's ridiculous because this palette is phenomenal. It's absolutely amazing. Um, and I have done a tutorial with this palette. If you would like to check that out, I will have that link down below. And I did my eye makeup today with it as well. I really, really like it. I don't know how much you can see. Um, but I just... This is the amazing palette for, obviously, nude eyeshadows, neutral eyeshadows, anything like that. So, um... It's made by The Bomb, obviously, and that company is just phenomenal as a whole. I love them. Um, and the packaging looks like this. It's very, very sleek. No excess, bulky, unnecessary things or anything like that. And um, it retails for $36, but I got it on whole look for $18. But even for the original price, I think it's 100% absolutely worth it. We open it up, there is a mirror on the side, but this is what the actual palette and the eyeshadows look like. So, comes with 12 colors, and this is actually the uh, classy or nice version. There's a naughty version as well with six girls over here, which is quite funny. Just If you just want to see a review on if I would recommend these or not, or whether you should buy them, definitely yes, worth it every single penny it will be the best 36 or 18 however many dollars you've ever spent in your life it's honestly amazing and i've seen people compare it to the naked palette which i have never tried so i can't tell you anything about that there's your short little review but if you're interested in more in-depth review that's what i'm going to do right now going through each of the colors okay so they all have really really cute names as you can see right here so there is sassy which is a absolutely gorgeous gorgeous pearly white color and i use this on my inner corners uh as a highlight and then there's snobby which is a yellow tone obviously and it's a really really pretty like almost golden kind of color and then there is Stubborn, which is great as a highlight, actually. Um, it looks a lot darker, but when for my skin tone, at least, when you apply it to the brow bone, it just kind of blends in. And then we have Standoffish, which is my go-to lid color. It's very, very shimmery um, and just really, really pretty. So these four colors are what I consider kind of the lid and highlight colors. This palette is kind of very evenly sectioned out um i feel like there's a good variety of colors so these four are the more lighter colors and then these are like the crease kind of medium colors and then we have the really really dark uh maybe outer corner or even liner colors over here and it does come with a brush and it's a eyeshadow and eyeliner brush i don't know where i put it um there is a good variety of shimmer and mattes in here if you are wondering um the black is matte and this uh, brown wine kind of color is matte as well. And then Sultry, this brown here, is matte. And that's really the only three matte colors in here. So it's definitely more... Well, I get, Sleek is matte. It's not matte. Okay, so Sleek isn't matte. As you can see, there's shimmers in there. But it's not shimmery. Like, there's just, like, two glitters. So I consider it matte in my definition. Technically, in my definition, there will be four matte colors and eight shimmery ones so that's okay with me i still feel like that's a pretty good balance compared to most palettes <clears throat> because i feel like a lot of palettes don't have matte colors at all or just one or two um so i feel like that's actually pretty good and i i don't really use matte i don't i prefer shimmery over matte um but i like a combination of the two as well so it's good that it gives you the choices so continue on with the colors there is Selfish, which is kind of like a cooler tone. And it's kind of like a silvery color that I don't like quite as much. I feel like it's too cool tone for my uh, taste. And then we have Sultry, which is a really, really good blending color. It kind of reminds me of Buck. Is that the color from the Naked palette that I see people use in tutorials all the time? It's a matte color and it 
if you use it with a light hand, it could be a great blending color, but it could also be built up to uh, be a crease color. And then we have Sophisticated, which is one of my favorite colors, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It has a lot of, it's very shimmery and sparkly. It's not overly dramatic, but I love it for the crease. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and then this color, which I have no idea how to pronounce, Schizzle? I don't know. Um, but it's pretty much, I feel like these two are very similar despite how different they look. I feel like this is just the shimmery version of this color. So they're both great for blending and crease colors. Just, they're very, very great colors. And then on to this last quad of the uh, palette, we have... Uh, sexy, which I absolutely love. I feel like it's a very trendy color. It's like a wine color. It's very, very pretty either way. I have that on my lids today. You can't really tell, but I like the way it's showing out. I love it. And then we have, what is this, Silly? And this is honestly just like glitter packed in an eyeshadow. It's very, very shimmery. But, um, it's definitely the shimmeriest in this palette, but I still find that on the eyes, it's not as dramatic as it looks, um, and it does have a bit more fallout, so I tend I don't use it as often as some of the other colors. And then up here we have the black that is serious, which I rarely ever use because I don't tend to use black eyeshadow. Um, the only black that I use in my makeup is liner, so I kind of stay away from this. But I know some people really want a palette to have a black eyeshadow to smoke things out. Um, but in my opinion, like, all these colors are really great for smoking uh, a look out. And then we have the last color, which is called Sleek, and this is a dark matte brown. Also very, very dark, um, but a little bit, you know, not as harsh as the black. I feel like these three colors on the outer, these three are all mattes, so, um, they're very, 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 uh, pretty colors, which is weird because they're just very basic, but somehow they're just absolutely gorgeous. They are just amazing. This whole eyeshadow is amazing, in case you can't tell from my review already. I've done nothing but rave about this. Uh, no, I'm not sponsored. I purchased this by myself, just clarifying. So easy to travel with. It's very light. It's paraben-free, um, and it's, it's amazing. Their swatches on the back. I love how they're kind of like structured in a fun shape instead of just lines. This palette is just so amazing that I just reach for it every time I want to do my makeup. So that is my review on this uh the bomb palette and I just absolutely love it. I definitely recommend all of you try it. Look at so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope that it was helpful um, if you're looking for a new eyeshadow palette to try out or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review and I will see you guys in my next video. And also let me know if you have tried out this palette and what you guys think. That's all for now and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.